now ready to move on to a speech by the senior vice president at Epic Lanka, which is an industrial partner of Java Institute. Mr. Sanjeeva has over 25 years of managerial experience in IT industry. He is instrumental in introducing thin client computing solutions to Sri Lankan market. Mr. Sanjeeva is a computer science and engineering graduate from University of Muratua and holds Master of Business Administration from University of Colombo. Mr. Sanjeeva is a member of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers USA, member of Institution of Engineering and Technology UK and served as council member of Computer Science Society of Sri Lanka, CSSL. Mr. Sanjeeva is a visiting lecturer at several higher education institutions where his industry experience and his academic experience enable him to provide a wealth of knowledge to postgraduate students in various areas of study. Mr. Sanjeeva was also awarded the Role of Honours Award for significant contribution in commercial vertical in Sri Lanka by Cisco Systems USA in 2008 and 2009 for two consecutive years. Ladies and gentlemen, to address the gathering, we would like to invite Mrs. Sanjeeva Pereira. Good afternoon, uh, members of the head table of Java Institute of Advanced Technology, members of the faculty, dear parents, graduates, class of 2023. So graduates, it's my great pleasure to congratulate you on the completion of your degrees and diplomas. Today, Java Institute released yet another batch of graduates into the ICT industry, which is the third largest revenue generation to the island nation. So we, Epic Technology Group, entered into a collaboration agreement with Java Institute to provide industrial placement to the students. So if I tell you a little bit of Epic Technology Group, we specialize in FinTech, financial technologies, especially on digital banking, mobile banking, and many more 15 odd IPs that we have and then we are into InsurTech, uh, that's the insurance industries and the e-government solutions. We operate in many countries of Asia, including Malaysia, Japan, Singapore and Maldives. So interns and graduates get a great opportunity to work for a company which had got great domain experience in payment industry and digital banking solutions. Graduates also get an opportunity to work in software development, quality assurance, project management, research. So we have an R&D unit. We come out with products, not only software applications, even the embedded devices. You know. So we innovate some of the embedded devices such as uh, search protection and then the gas leak detector we have produced to the market during the time of this gas issue and with a mobile app that was selling quite a good in the market uh, so va various research um, even in the banking sector you know coming out with various products and solutions with embedded devices you know. And also you get an opportunity to work with regulatory bodies such as local bodies like Central Bank of Sri Lanka, especially that's important for the payment industry and also international bodies like Payment Council, uh, Payment Industry, uh, PCI Council uh, for PCI certifications. And most of the products that all certified and we have a special compliance department which taking up, you know. So we also operate in key strategic e-government projects such as Department of Immigration and Immigration, the passport, entire passport project, the issuing workflows and even the studio management and electronic passports. And also 
the digitization of the foreign ministry and Sri Lanka Parliament workflow and digitization projects and many more projects in government sector. So with our commitment to improve quality and life of life through digital transformation, we begin creating a technological ecosystems and made the impossible possible to touch the lives of many Sri Lankans through digital transformation. We Epic is a local company with a global presence. Hence, we believe that it's our duty to impart global cultural knowledge and soft skills to the industrial placements for graduates. As you all know that the culture of a nation is a collective programming of mind in that society. So national culture cannot be changed, but you should understand and respect it and make use of those research uh, to come up with very unique products and solutions. So me, you know, I was a computer science and engineer, but I spent a lot of time on social science subjects to figure it out how we can benefit these students who comes out with a lot of technical skills to drive them into more, uh, build up some social skills and, you know, make a balance out of it and then uh, produce a great resources which can fit it into local market as well as our international placements. Uh, for me, that I will look at Sri Lanka is a Cinderella story of Asia. A beautiful lady in the kitchen doing cooking and cleaning. No one knows the value of Sri Lanka. As Dr. Sirivardhana said, you know, uh, except India. India knows the value of Sri Lanka. So according to the great research carried out by various researchers, you know, we are taking those understanding of various global research into our organization to benefits uh, on various understandings. You know, like for example, we take this great research carried out by Dutch psycho social psychologist Gert Hofdeeves on cultural research. And in that, Sri Lanka rated as one of the most feminine cultures in the world after Norway and Sweden. What does it mean? The caring for others and quality of life with great hospitality, island nation. So feminine cultures accepting changing goals and working together. Therefore, it's easier to train our software engineers for agile software development. But on the other side, the feminine cultures believe work in order to live. Whereas the other side of it, masculine cultures such as Japan believe live in order to work, which creates another set of challenges when you're dealing with global clients. So therefore, as uh, Professor uh, Dr. Sirivardhana said, you know, Sri Lanka is an agriculture, ma mainly the agro society. And now we are producing, or we are exporting almost about 1 billion US dollars worth of software. You know. And just to bring it up, you know, our understanding, you know, on research that carried out by various researchers, social psychologists in Sri Lanka. You know, they found that Sri Lankans are pretty good in working in a room with an air-conditioned environment. And they have done studies about the hand fingers, you know, uh, genetically, you know, how good is these fingers or whether they're short or long. And then the research they carried out and they found that we have grown 1 million acres of land for tea and we earn less than $3 billion and there's no place to grow tea, you know. As Dr. Sirivadana said, you know, the 50,000 graduates who export 
1 billion US dollars of software. Maybe 30, 35 buildings in the island which does that. Just imagine that if you produce more graduates in this area, we can surplus tea exports which we have grown 1 million acres. I mean, it's to say that tea, of course, required another change that, you know, branding, you know. I think 5% of the tea which Dilma exports are going as branded, you know, which get a high premium. Uh, so we need to do a little bit work on tea also. Uh, but as a company, you know, we work with Tea Board uh, to make a QR code for every tea bag which is exported from Sri Lanka to identify for any foreigner to figure it out which estate it has come up, you know, and there's a certification given by the Tea Board. So, we are very optimistic that the graduates have acquired at Java Institute will be a springboard of success of their various job careers. I therefore congratulate graduates today for qualified to become the Java Institute ambassadors wherever they will go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Pereira. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's put our hands together for Mr. Pereira.